Hi everyone. So, um, still on my do-it-yourself kick. But today I was trying to make um, something that I saw a fellow YouTuber do. And don't ask me um, who did it because I was like, hmm, oh my gosh, that looks interesting, oh my gosh, that looks interesting. I lost track of where I was and what I was watching. But, as I'm sitting here trying to work on it, I thought, you know, I could do something different with this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a chandelier. But, instead of, you know, the simple hoop chandeliers that everybody makes, I want to recycle some old um, newspapers, shoe box, I need some yarn, and some hard stock that I wasn't going to use to make some little cutouts. Um, so basically what you're going to need is you're going to need about... 10 pages from your, from a magazine that you want to upcycle or whatever, or you can use sticks if you want, but I like the idea of recycling the newspapers. Some yarn, uh, an old shoe box that you don't need anymore, just for a little, two little circles, and um, cut out in the shape that you want as many. Um, I have where's my I have it in five different colors and in, in two different sizes. I have um, seven of each color of these and then in my smaller ones I have the same colors and I have about six of each of them. But I have some circles that I some more walls I can cut off I need to. Um but I bet you're wondering, how did I get my news my magazine papers look like this? Well what I did was I took four of them and I'm gonna show you how I rolled them. I have one left right here that I need to roll still. So you take a piece of magazine and a pencil. And you sit here, cut that in, and then you roll it up. Now get a little, don't forget your glue stick, your glue gun. Get a little dot of glue right here. And I continue to roll. my pencil out and I'm good to go. Alright. So as you can see I have four of these that are longer than the other four. And basically these are whole sheets of newspaper of magazine. So this see how it's one is an actual whole sheet. These are sheets that I cut in half. And these, the short, the short, short ones, are sheets that I cut into fourths. The one I just rolled, for instance, was one I cut into fourths. So, what you do after you do your rolling and after your glues, right, you could also use tape or whatever. So, if you, you cut off the pointy part right here. So, it's looking like this. And then, Put a dot of glue right there, and just stick your little magazine roll on it. All right. Now, next, you're just gonna do some glue all across that. That's just to make it sturdier, so that um, it doesn't the newspaper rolls don't bend.
and warning, you're going to be using a lot of glue, so make sure you have plenty of glue. Alright. Now I'm going to put some glue right here in between them so that it will keep them separated and steady. You don't have to worry about looks. It doesn't matter what it looks like. It's just got to be pretty. Alright. Now I'm going to sit this over here to the side to dry. Now, I have to get me some of my yarn out. I'm just going to make a loop for me to hang this up with. So, you don't need a lot of yarn, you know. This is probably going to be way too much, but I'm probably going to end up hanging it from my light fixture in my room. So, what we're going to need to do is... I'm just going to make it a little bit sturdier, so I'm just going to tie a little knot like this. Like so. And now I'm going to put a big, healthy blob of glue right where my knot's going to go, right in the center. All right. Now I'm gonna let this dry. Ah, uh, it. All right. Time to pull off all the little extra strings. Cause if you're anything like me. You always have little bitty strings whenever you're working with their hot glue gun. Never fails. They're everywhere. They're like little spider webs. They just never can never get them all. Alright. So for now we need to figure out how long we want the first level of our um chandelier to hang and where we want the second level to start. So, I'm thinking about as long as one of my arms should be sufficient. From my wrist to my shoulder should be sufficient. So I'm going to cut it, and I'm going to tie this right here. And now, I'm going to do another knot. And sell some glue. Told you you're gonna be using a lot of glue, people. You didn't believe me. All right. Now we have to do it again. And the great thing about this craft doesn't have to be perfect. You. It doesn't matter if it looks like it could be in Better Homes and Garden Magazine. It's going in your room. If you like it, who cares what anyone else thinks? Because right now, I'm just using basic artistic freedom, to be quite frank with you. No clue what I'm doing. <laughs> when I first started this, I was doing something completely different. Now, I'm making a chandelier. I was going to make a sunburst wall hanging. Just to hang on my wall so it would be pretty. And then I got the idea. Huh. Chandelier.
tarde. <coughs> Because I don't want you guys to have to wait. Um, what I'm doing is uh, I'm going to make a curly, like, I want the colors to go down like this around my chandelier. So I'm going to put six of the hearts on the yarn. And this is why I use so much. That way, whenever all six parts you know, take up a spot, trim, good to go. All right. So I'm going to take my silver sparkly one. I'm going to put a little glue dollop on it and yarn. Another little blue dollop just to hold it for safekeeping. Alright, next is my blue. Little blue dollop. And I'm going to put it directly underneath the silver one so none of the yarn shows through. And pink. Okay. Now, for my purple, I'm sorry, I lied to you guys, I'm only using four colors because I only have five colors, uh, for some reason I thought I had seven colors, I have seven of each of my five colors. So, alright, well, I just hung it up, and apparently, one dot isn't enough for the keeping the hearts the way they're supposed to be. So, We have to do a line of dot, like a line across the yarn.
There's my strings again. Ah. Alright. So, I'm going to let this harden up and dry. Try to get all this excess off so it weighs as little as possible. Don't want the new paper tubes to bend. And so, hanging, this is how it's going to look. Now I need to get over to this one start off with my gold one. to my yep my silver. And now pink because that's the one that comes next. And then trim off the excess yarn. There's an actual chandelier. It goes like this. Back it up. And you see how and you see how it goes down at a diagonal? It's gonna go down like that all the way down to the same type pattern. And then whenever we're ready to use this one, we're gonna use a piece of yarn that's exactly the length where it hangs down to here. And then we're going to hang down the little bitty one. And I'm actually probably going to do some weaving with some yarn in between these. So it'll be like yarn coming down. You know, up and down and going all across and everything. Sort of look really nice and everything. But I'll 
if I do decide to do that, I'll show you that tomorrow or whenever I can get this finished. Because right now I have to head to bed. Because I have to be up at 7 o'clock in the morning. And it's 1 o'clock right now. But, thank you guys for watching. Oh, FYI, if you saw my magazine flower tutorial, I did add a little button, so they're cute. I made four of them. And they all have cute little buttons, and they're all super cute. And I'm probably going to get them in a bottle and or a vase. Little bouquet. So cute. Anyway. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you really enjoyed this. I know I've been enjoying doing do it yourself stuff. So, um, talk to you guys later. Bye.